we could design an experiment where yeah. you had the placebo arm, yeah. the metformin arm, the rapamycin arm, the yeah. SGLT2 inhibitor arm, and the GLP-1 agonist arm. What is your prediction in additional years of life? I think the, the, the last three would be comparable metformin I'm skeptical of. So RAPA, SGLT2, yeah. GLP-1. And then, of course, it begs the question, which is, could these effects be additive? I will say two things before I say what I'm going to say. One is that I believe we need to empower people to make decisions on their own health. And so I support hackers. If they want to you know, educate themselves and try different things and they know what the benefits and risks might be and what we know and we don't know, more power to them. I feel like part of the reasons we get such low compliance in medications is that we don't empower people. We don't give them choices. They don't know why they're doing things. We just tell them what to do and people don't respond well to that. So having said that, I can't pick three interventions that work well together <laughs> and, and a mouse, you know, and we do these studies all the time. The thing, they're more likely to cancel each other out than to have additive effects. And so if you're mixing 20 colors of or taking 20 pills, it's like mixing 20 colors of paint together. You're going to get some ugly gray outcome, or at best, you're going to get an unknown outcome that we can't predict. So mm. I'm, I'm really cautious and want to tell people that if you're doing 10 things, you're, you don't have any idea what's working and what's not working and whether things might be impairing each other. And I really think that's a scary path to go down. Now, what do you make of like when you look at hazard ratios associated yeah. with smoking, yeah. type 2 diabetes, yeah. even cancer, yeah. they are not as lethal as being incredibly weak, incredibly low in muscle mass, and incredibly low in fitness. Yeah. How much causality do you think is there versus how much of that is just, those are just such good markers of health? 